What is up guys, Jeremy with everything iDevice, and yes, welcome to the very first top 10 best iOS 7 tweaks and Cydia apps for the iPhone 5S and below. Now thank god that the substrate was updated within Cydia a few hours ago, and these are the top 10 that I've found and I've done a lot of searching the past few hours. Now if you guys are not subscribed already to the channel, I'd recommend clicking on that subscribe button as I do upload uh, these top 10 best tweaks in apps on a regular basis, so if you guys want to be the first to see them, like I said, click on that subscribe button. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this. The first tweak I got for you guys is very, very simple. Uh, you just install it and it works. It's called Clear Folders. As you can see, it removes that kind of ugly, blurred background within the folders, and it just puts your apps on the wallpaper, which I do think looks a lot better. Very, very simple tweak. Again, that is called Clear Folders. The next tweak I got for you guys is extremely useful and was literally just updated before I started making this video and it is called CC Toggles. As you can see it allows you to add more toggles to control center such as settings, respring, airplane mode, do not disturb, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, orientation lock, silent, uh, reboot. There's a whole bunch of other toggles that I don't have enabled right now. These are just the ones that I like to use. And as you can see, I do have six of them per page. Uh, you can also change that within the settings as well. And it, CC Toggles also allows you to put application shortcuts down at the bottom. As you can see, I have Instagram, Cydia, Spotify, Messages, and then the normal camera, calculator. And it even has a shortcut to the multitasking, which is pretty neat. Uh, very, very, very useful tweak. Again, it is called CC Toggles, and it is free. Next is a Cydia application that has been around forever. It is called Activator. Now, I'm not going to go through everything that Activator can do in this video just because it would take me forever. There is so much stuff you can do with Activator. Uh, for example, if I do a triple press of the home button, it will launch Cydia, as you guys can see right there. Uh, there's a load of different button actions that will cause, you know, different shortcuts on your device. It's a very, very useful application. Again, it is called Activator, and I'd recommend just downloading it and trying it out. Next is a hate it or love it application from Cydia. It's called Flux, and this did originate from the Mac. Uh, basically, it changes the backlighting color of your device. Uh, so if I adjust this slider here for daytime, as you can see, it changes that backlighting color. It goes from the normal, completely fluorescent look to a kind of a candle lit you know yellowy look on your device now I usually don't have this enabled during the day as you can see I have it turned all the way up but at night I like to turn it down a bit just because you know if you get a message in the middle of the night and you wake up your device uh, it's not so blindingly bright it has that yellow kind of tint to it and it's very easy on the eyes especially if you're in, like in your bed at night all the lights are off and you're on safari uh, reading something it's very very nice on the eyes I'd recommend checking it out again it's called flux next is 3g unrestrictor this basically allows certain applications to do things over your cellular connection that Apple normally doesn't allow you to do. Uh, for instance, if you're trying to download a huge application within the App Store, uh, there is a limit for when you're on your cellular connection. This will allow you to basically bypass that. Also for older devices uh, that can't FaceTime over cellular connection, this will allow you to do that as well. And um, this is a paid application. But like I said, it basically allows you to do everything on your cellular connection that Apple normally doesn't allow you to do. And I really do like the application. It's been updated for iOS 7. Again, that's 3G Unrestrictor 5. So if you guys are wondering how I changed my carrier logo to the Apple logo right there, that is with one of my favorite tweaks of all time, and it is Zeppelin. Uh, now I do have a video covering, I think it was like the 20 best uh, Zeppelin packages from Cydia or something like that. I'll link it down below if you guys would like to check it out. But anyways, uh, just go ahead and download Zeppelin, and it does come with uh, its own set of themes, but there is just hundreds and hundreds to choose from within Cydia. All you gotta do is really just search Zeppelin, and you guys will see how many different packs there are. But uh, I have mine set to Apple, as you can see, you just click on it, and uh, above there, as you can see, it just changes it from whatever icon you want, you know, instead of it saying AT&T or, you know, Verizon, it, you just have a little logo, and I really do like it. Again, that is called Zeppelin. Next, I have another application for you guys. Now, uh, the icon is not updated for iOS 7 yet, but I really do like this app. It is called Unlimtones. This is one of the very first applications that I covered when I very first started my YouTube a uh, long, long time ago. So if we go ahead and open up Unlimtones, basically it allows you to search for any ringtone. It's bombarded with advertisements because it is free, but still, guys, uh, you can basically download any ringtone you want. And the nice thing about it is it downloads directly into your ringtones within your settings. So we can go ahead and go to the top in the USA, and I'll just pick out a uh, a random, we'll do uh, the monster here. So you can preview it by clicking the play button. So as you guys can see, you can preview it, and if you want it, just go ahead and click add to ringtones. 
you'll get an advertisement and it's already in my settings so if we go ahead and jump out here go into my settings application and back out of Zeppelin go up to sounds go to ringtone sale is one I downloaded earlier and then here is So as you can see, you just download it, it goes directly into your ringtones. This way you don't have to purchase them through iTunes. Uh, and they literally have everything on unlimited tones. All you got to do is search for it, and I'm sure you'll find it. Uh, a very, very useful applications for just ringtones. I'd recommend checking it out. Again, it's called Unlim Tones. The next tweak I got for you guys is one of the very first tweaks that was released for iOS 7. It is called Switch Spring. So basically, you just bring up your multitasking here and you swipe up on your home screen page. And as you can see, you can restart your springboard or you can just quit all apps very simply. So you can end all apps from multitasking just like so. Go ahead and reopen it up. And as you can see, it's a very useful way to kill all of your multitasking applications. Again, that is called Switch Spring. Next is iFile. I had to include it in this video, guys, just because it had a recent overhaul. It's completely updated for iOS 7. Uh, although I am having issues with it registering for my device for the full paid version, uh, it still works perfectly fine with the free version. If you guys don't know what iFile is, it basically allows you to browse the entire file system of your device. Uh, this is probably one of my main applications from Cydia that I love to use, uh, such as, you know, downloading stuff from Safari. You can move it around within iFile. You can, uh, you know, this is very useful for emulators. Um, also, uh, you know, if you're into creating themes or you're a tweak developer, this is an essential tool to have on your device. I'd recommend checking it out. There is a free version or a free trial, I should say, and it is called iFile. Now, last but certainly not least is Barrel. This was literally just updated a couple hours before I was going to make this video, and I absolutely love it. It's basically just animated page scrolling effects. As you guys can see, this is really a benchmark uh, jailbreak tweak. This just screams my device is jailbroken. As you guys can see, it does have some pretty awesome animations. I have it set on random right now, so it just kind of goes through all the different animations. If we go in the settings, I'll go to my favorite which is curl and roll away this is my favorite animation for barrel as you can see just a really really cool tweak gives a different effect that doesn't really have any functionality it's just you know it just looks cool I think again this is called barrel and I recommend checking it out so there you go guys those are my top 10 best Cydia apps and tweaks for iOS 7 like I said these are all compatible with the iPhone 5s and also like I mentioned that I will have a lot more of these top 10 tweaks and apps videos coming out in the near future as they are updated within Cydia so if you guys don't want to miss out on those I would recommend clicking on that subscribe button also I'm gonna drop a keyword on you guys the keyword is best tweak so if you guys did watch this entire video be sure to comment down below uh, with a unique comment and the phrase best tweaks in it uh, that way I know you guys watched this entire video so thank you guys very much if you enjoyed this video or these tweaks definitely throw me that thumbs up that does help me out tremendously here at the channel also like I said if you guys want to see more of these videos definitely click on that subscribe button this has been Jeremy and I'll catch you guys in the next one later